Porphyry of Tyre was a Neoplatonic philosopher who was born in Tyre. He edited and published the Enneads, the only collection of the work of his teacher Plotinus. His commentary on Euclid's elements was used as a source by Papis of Alexandria. He also wrote many works himself on a wide variety of topics. His Isagogia, or introduction, is an introduction to logic and philosophy and in Latin translation it was the standard textbook on logic throughout the Middle Ages. In addition, through several of his works, most notably philosophy from oracles and against the Christians, which was banned by Emperor Constantine the Great, he was involved in a controversy with a number of early Christians. Biography Porphyry's parents were Greek, and he was born in Tyre. His parents named him Malchus but his teacher in Athens, Cassius Longinus, gave him the name Porphyrius, possibly a reference to his Phoenician heritage, or a punning allusion to his name and the color of royal robes. Under Longinus he studied grammar and rhetoric. In 262 he went to Rome, attracted by the reputation of Plotinus, and for six years devoted himself to the practice of Neoplatonism, during which time he severely modified his diet. At one point he became suicidal. On the advice of Plotinus he went to live in Sicily for five years to recover his mental health. On returning to Rome, he lectured on philosophy and completed an edition of the writings of Plotinus together with a biography of his teacher. Iamblichus is mentioned in ancient Neoplatonic writings as his pupil, but this most likely means only that he was the dominant figure in the next generation of philosophers. The two men differed publicly on the issue of Thagi. In his later years, he married Marcella, a widow with seven children and an enthusiastic student of philosophy. Little more is known of his life, and the date of his death is uncertain. Introduction Porphyry is best known for his contributions to philosophy. Apart from writing the aids to the study of the intelligibles, a basic summary of Neoplatonism, he is especially appreciated for his introduction to categories, a very short work often considered to be a commentary on Aristotle's categories, hence the title. According to Barnes, however, the correct title is simply Introduction, and the book is an introduction not to the categories in particular, but to logic in general, comprising as it does the theories of predication, definition, and proof. The introduction describes how qualities attributed to things may be classified, famously breaking down the philosophical concept of substance into the five components genus, species, difference, property, accident. As Porphyry's most influential contribution to philosophy, the introduction to categories incorporated Aristotle's logic into Neoplatonism, in particular the doctrine of the categories of being interpreted in terms of entities. Boethius er is a Gogia, a Latin translation of Porphyry's introduction, became a standard medieval textbook in European schools and universities, which set the stage for medieval philosophical theological developments of logic and the problem of universals. In medieval textbooks, the all-important Arba Porphyriana illustrates his logical classification of substance. To this day, taxonomy benefits from concepts in Paul Fries' tree, in classifying living organisms. The introduction was translated into Arabic by Abdallah ibn al makafa from a Syriac version. With the Arabicized name is a huge it long remained the standard introductory logic text in the Muslim world and influenced the study of theology, philosophy, grammar, and jurisprudence. Besides the adaptations and epitomes of this work, many independent works on logic by Muslim philosophers have been entitled as a huge. Porphyry's discussion of accident sparked a long-running debate on the application of accident and essence. Philosophy from Oracles Porphyry is also known as an opponent of Christianity and defender of paganism. His precise contribution to the philosophical approach to traditional religion may be discovered in the fragments of philosophy from oracles, which was originally three books in length. There is debate as to whether it was written in his youth or closer in time to the persecutions of Christians under Diocletian and Galerius. 
Whether or not Porphyry was the pagan philosopher opponent in Lactantius or divine institutes, written at the time of the persecutions, has long been discussed. The fragments of the philosophy from oracles are only quoted by Christians, especially Eusebius, Theodort, Augustine, and John Philipponus. The fragments contain oracles identifying proper sacrificial procedure, the nature of astrological fate, and other topics relevant for Greek and Roman religion in the 3rd century. Whether this work contradicts his treatise Defending Vegetarianism, which also warned the philosopher to avoid animal sacrifice, is disputed among scholars against the Christians. During his retirement in Sicily, Porphyry wrote against the Christians which consisted of 15 books. Porphyry acknowledged Jesus Christ only as an outstanding philosopher. Some 30 Christian apologists, such as Methodius, Eusebius, Apollinaris, Jerome, etc., responded to his challenge. In fact, everything known about Porphyry's arguments is found in these refutations, largely because Theodore C.S. II ordered every copy burned in A.D. 435 and again in 448. Porphyry became one of the most able pagan adversaries of Christianity of his day. His aim was not to disprove the substance of Christianity's teachings but rather the records within which the teachings are communicated. His criticisms may have targeted Christians more than Christ. He is reported to have said in another work, The gods have proclaimed Christ to have been most pious, but the Christians are a confused and vicious sect, according to Jerome. Porphyry especially attacked the prophecy of Daniel because Jews and Christians pointed to the historical fulfillment of its prophecies as of decisive argument. But these prophecies, he maintained, were written not by Daniel but by some Jew who in the time of Antiochus Epiphanes gathered up the traditions of Daniel's life and wrote a history of recent past events but in the future tense falsely dating him back to Daniel's time. Daniel did not predict so much future events as he narrated past ones. Finally what he had told up to Antiochus contained true history, if anything was guessed beyond that point it was false, for he had not known the future. The first part of Daniel, with the exception of the dream in Daniel chapter 2, is historic, not prophetic. Porphyry, attacking only the prophetic portion, declares it to be merely a late anonymous narrative of past events, purporting to have been predicted long before by Daniel. Thus Porphyry's scheme was based on the supposed spuriousness of Daniel's prophecies. Porphyry devised his own interpretation where the third prophetic kingdom was Alexander, and assigned the Macedonian Ptolemies and Seleucids to the fourth kingdom. From among these he chose ten kings, making the eleventh to be Antiochus Epiphanes. In this way he threw his main strength against the book of Daniel, recognizing that if this pillar of faith be shaken, the whole structure of prophecy must tremble. If the writer was not Daniel, then he lied on a frightful scale, ascribing to God prophecies which were never uttered, and making claim of miracles that were never wrought. And if Daniel's authorship could be shown to be false, then Christ himself would be proved to bear witness to an imposter. Porphyry's thesis was adopted by Edward Gibbon, the English deist Anthony Collins, and most modern scholars, Augustine and the 5th century ecclesiastical historian Socrates of Constantinople, assert that Porphyry was once a Christian. Other subjects Porphyry was opposed to the Thagy of his disciple Iamblichus. Much of Iamblichus' mysteries is dedicated to the defense of mystic Thergic divine possession against the critiques of Porphyry. French philosopher Pierre Hadot maintains that for Porphyry, spiritual exercises are an essential part of spiritual development. Porphyry was, like Pythagoras, an advocate of vegetarianism on spiritual and ethical grounds. These two philosophers are perhaps the most famous vegetarians of classical antiquity. He wrote the On Abstinence from Animal Food, advocating against the consumption of animals, and he is cited with approval in vegetarian literature up to the present day. Porphyry also wrote widely on astrology, religion, philosophy, and musical theory. 
He produced a history of philosophy with Vitae of philosophers that included a life of his teacher, Plotinus. His life of Plato from Book IV exists only in quotes by Cyril of Alexandria. His book Vita Pythagora on the life of Pythagoras is not to be confused with the book of the same name by Iamblichus. His commentary on Ptolemy's harmonics is an important source for the history of ancient harmonic theory. Works by Porphyry, Ad Gaurum, Ed. K. Kalbfleisch, Abhandlungen der Präzision Akademie der Wissenschaft, Phil, Hist, K. L. 33-62, Ad Gerdalium, The Testimony Era published in Andrew Smith, Porphyrius, Porphyrii Philosophi Fragmenta, Fragmenta Arabica David Wasserstein Interpretant, Berlin, Walter de Greuter, 1993, Contra Christianos, ed. Adolf von Harnack, Porphyrius, Gergen die Christen, 15 Bucker, Zunissa, Fragmenta and Referat, Abhandlungen der Kunaglich Prussischen Akademie der Wissenschaften, Jargang 1916, Philosoph, Hist, Klasse, Nier, 1, Contra los Cristianos, Recopulacion de Fragmentos, Traduction, Introduction y Notas, E. A. Ramos Jurado, Ritual A. Ponce, Carmona Vazquez, Rodriguez Moreno, Ortla Salas, M. Zamora Calvo, Corpus Dei Papiri Philosophici Grisheri Latin I 3, Commentary I, less than number 6 and hash the 9th of may or may not be by Porphyry greater than, De Abstinente Abies U Animalium, Jean Bouffartigue, Pation, and Alan Philippe Segans, ed. 3 vols, Budde. The Philosophy Rex Oraculis Harriander, G. Wolf, ed. Epistula ad Anna Bonham, A. R. Sodano, ed. Fragmenta, Andrew Smith, ed. The Homeric Questions. A Bilingual Edition, Lang Classical Studies, 2. R. Schlunk, Trans. Isagodja, Stefan Weinstock, ed. In Catalogus Codicum Astrologorum Graecorum, Franz Comont, ed. V4, 187-228. Commentars a Harmony Elera des Ptolemaeus in Mardu-Uring, ed. Opusculus Elector Augusts Noc, ed. Porphyrii in Platonish Timium Commentarium Fragmentary, r. Sodano, ed. Porphyry, the Philosopher, to Marcella, text and translation with introduction and notes Kathleen Obian Wicker, trans, text and translations 28, Greco-Roman Religion Series 10, Prose Markelin Grickeiser text, Heraus Gegebin, Übersetzt, Eingeleitet und Erklet von W. Potcher, Sententiary ad intelligibile ducentis, e. Lambers, ed. Vida Pythagori, Lettre a Marcella, e. Des Places, ed. And Trans. La Vie de Platine, Luc Brisson, ed. History de l'Antiquité Classique, 6 and 16, 2 vols. Vita, Platini, in Platinus, Armstrong, ed. LCL, 2-84. To Marcella, text and translation with introduction and notes by Kathleen O'Biron Wicker. Translations. Isagodja, Medieval Sources in Translation 16. Warren, Trans. Porphyry's Introduction. Translation of the Isagodja, with a commentary by J. Barnes. Porphyry, on Aristotle's Categories. Translated by Stephen K. Strange. The Organonological Treatises of Aristotle with the Introduction of Porphyry Bonds Classical Library 1112 Octavius Friar Owen Trans. 2 vols. 5 texts on the medieval problem of universals. Porphyry, Boethius, Abelard, Duns Scotus, Ockham Paul Vincent Spade Trans. Select Works of Porphyry. Translated by T. Taylor. Contains abstinence from eating animal food, the sententiary and the cave of the nymphs. Launching points to the realm of mind. Translation of the sententiary by K. Guthrie. Neoplatonic saints. The lives of Plotinus and Proclus. Translated texts for historians 35. On abstinence from killing animals. Gilliam Clark. Trans. 
The Cave of the Nymphs in the Odyssey A revised text with translation by Seminar Classics 609, State University of New York at Buffalo, Arethusa Monograph 1, On the Cave of the Nymphs, Robert Lamberton, Trans. Porphyry Against the Christians, R. M. Birchman, Trans. Ancient Mediterranean and Medieval Texts and Contexts 1. Porphyries Against the Christians. The Literary Remains, R. Joseph Hoffman, Trans. The Homeric Questions, edited and translated by R. Schlunk. Porphyry's Letter to His Wife Marcella Concerning the Life of Philosophy and the Ascent to the Gods. Translated by Alice Simon. Porphyry the Philosopher, Introduction to the Tetrabiblos and Serapio of Alexandria, Astrological Definitions, Translated by James Herschel Holden, Translations of several fragments are contained in Appendix 1 of Religion and Identity in Porphyry of Tyre by Aaron Johnson.